Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 18th of 2019. Well, it is titled gigantic jet lightning over India. So what do we see here? Well, image taken by a passenger in an airplane flying in this case high above the clouds as you can see and out over India. And images were taken of the lightning there. And we can see the lightning and it almost looks here that it's coming off the wing of the plane. Now that's not really the case. The cloud, the lightning actually originates much further off in the distance and out in one of the distant thunder clouds. But it gives that appearance here. And then the lightning actually streams upward. So it heads upwards into the ionosphere of the Earth, one of the outer layers of the atmosphere of the Earth. And you can see here how it kind of spreads out as it moves upward. It looks at the lower portion, much like a traditional lightning bolt, and then spreads out to give a purple and then a redder color as it extends upward into the ionosphere. So this is something we are still learning about and it may sound interesting to people that we're still learning about things here on Earth. Students will often ask me why do we want to bother going back to the moon? Don't we know everything about it already? And we won't we have studied the moon, but we still have a lot to learn about it, just as we still have a lot to learn about things here on Earth. And in fact, certain things such as red sprites with another type of lightning are some Something that we are still learning about and those are mentioned in the description the blue jets and the red sprites and it's only been about 25 years that we've had since we've actually been able to confirm that they exist and that is something here on Earth. So we still are trying to completely understand our atmosphere, which is an extremely complex system, and how it produces things like this. So we have some general ideas, but we can't say that we have a complete understanding of how they work or how to be able to predict anything like this. And as we know, it can be very difficult to predict the exact path of a of a storm as it's going to travel. We can certainly model it and get a good prediction. But to say exactly where it will be at any given time is something far different than being able to predict exactly where a planet will be in its orbit in the future. One we can predict very precisely. We can tell you, for example, when an eclipse will be 100 years from now and say with confidence, wait until that day and you can time that eclipse down to the exact second. Whereas we cannot predict exactly where a storm will go. There are too many variables within the atmosphere. And we still do not completely understand what is going on. But capturing images like this and continuing to study and model them will help to increase our understanding of the Earth's atmosphere and how it works, which of course will astronomically speaking help us to understand other astronomical objects as well. So that was our picture of the day for September the 18th of 2019. It was titled Gigantic Jet Lightning Over India. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.